Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Hope you guys are doing well and are subscribed to all three channels, Evolutionary, E Arts, and Hearts Home. And most will go up, most stuff will go up on E Arts uh, as it's kind of the primary channel. Uh, while it's still monetized, although it's, you know, <laughs> ever dwindling, ever demonetization going on by the power structure. And so do check in daily to at least EE Arts, if not all three channels. And hopefully with the bell click, you'll get some notifications. And we want to thank our Patreons for your support as well as those that are supporting us on Ko-Fi. So we have yet again another fire going on at a recycling center. Seems to be a thing. I mean, just every single day. Multiple firefighters currently working to control a massive fire at a recycling center. This is in Pensacola, Florida. Multiple witnesses reporting heavy, thick black smoke. Eerie red glow from flames can be seen from miles away. No injuries reported. Unknown how this fire started, but as we said, you know, recycling center seems like one's going up every day somewhere. So it seems like st there, there's somebody with an agenda to... I don't know release a lot of emissions into the air i i don't know burn up all who knows it's part of a bigger plan that seems for sure yeah they, they definitely have something in mind so guys also over here we see over in melbourne this is down in australia farmers and supporters protest outside parliament new regulations take land from them for renewable energy transmission lines they can't farm near the lines. Land value is expected to drop by 50% because of it. It's pretty obvious, you know, they does they don't really seem to want to do any uh, farming on the planet at all. They want to just simply, you know, create the food over in a lab somewhere. And they're playing Pink Floyd, you know, the wall, leave those kids alone, another brick in the wall. And uh, this is down in Australia as well, people protesting against indoctrination you know the indoctrination of the type that the former kgb uh officer back in 1984 said would be coming and is obviously so well under underway and perhaps it's even kind of peaking and now maybe it'll go into oblivion you know who knows you know i'm just such a huge um, proponent of homeschooling i i think that's just the way it needs to be yeah, agreed. Most definitely do not trust uh, any sort of governmental agencies with our kids. I, I think many people feel that way. And China's defense minister is visiting Russia and Belarus, despite objections from the West. Yeah, these are all war preparations, which are, are close uh, to really being kicked off to a new level. So here's China's defense minister coordinating with Russia and Belarus. And again, that Belarus and Poland and maybe uh, Lithuania and the other small Baltic republics, you know, that could be the first expansion that we see. There's actually a massive forest fire underway in Tenerife uh, that looks pretty bad right now. This is a Spanish island, beautiful. Huge wildfire evacuations underway. And again, when you look, it, I mean, it's just out there for the public's consumption. When you see metal melted to that degree and you look at the temperatures that forest fires burn at, something does not compute. It's pretty simple. Does not compute. Does not compute. Now, lasers, they could burn through metal, right? Mm -hmm. You know, they can do a lot of things that I think we're not aware of, or at least um, we haven't been shown or we haven't been taught. You know, they keep all of this stuff on the sidelines and they just kind of keep us guessing. And yet we know, and is it going to really change anything? As you see here, they're issuing orange cards to people and you cannot travel to other parts of the island without it. There's reports coming in that insurance companies are refusing to pay. There's reports coming in that escape routes away from the fires were blocked 
and people were not allowed to get out. You know, there's all sorts of, of reports coming in right now. Not a good situation. Don't forget here, if you haven't seen it yet, here is the NEDO, N-E-D-O, Smart Community Case Study, where they discussed making Maui a smart grid city. Yeah, this this is 2017. Maui targeted as a smart city. Well, now you know what? They're going to be able to go ahead. It's just another coincidence, right, guys? The water lines of Maui have been contaminated with petroleum. And, you know, this guy's asking questions about it. Where is the military? $700? $700? That's it? And, and I mean, how, mu- how much has gone? Everybody is bringing up. How much has gone to Ukraine? Compare that to the $700. You know, I think there's an awakening going on. Children who live closer to natural gas wells in heavily drilled Pennsylvania were more likely to develop a rare form of cancer, and nearby residents of all ages had an increased chance of severe asthma reactions. In fact, you know, there's so many things about this society that is totally unhealthy, completely unhealthy. unhealthy. Joint pit state studies find a link between proximity to fracking, increased cancer rates, asthma attacks, low birth weights. This is from August 15th of this year. While the studies commissioned in 2019 to research communities near fracking in southwestern Pennsylvania did not identify the cause, they did conclude that there were correlations. Well, you know, again, it's not the only one. And so you could see uh, there's numerous agencies talking about this, and and we could go back in, in time as well. You know, kids who live near fracking sites are up to seven times more likely to develop lymphoma. Yeah, it's a hazard. It it really is obvious. Fracking linked to cancer-causing chemicals. This is going back to 2016. This was a new YSPH study. You know, so you'll, you'll find there's a lot of studies that have shown that there's an absolute correlation Fracking is very common. Again, this one's from 2016. At that time, 30 states. Millions of people living within one mile of a fracking site. Now, you know, Cindy and I, we were out there driving um, a few months back, and we were going through areas where it was heavily fracked and then not fracked, and it was night and day. The heavily fracked areas were dead and dying. Uh, and the vegetation looked horrible. Trees were just kind of rotting out, and it it, it was just atrocious and then you go to the areas that are not fracked and things look good and healthy yeah we are fracked and you know this here is a 12 page pdf that gives you um maybe some uh, eye-opening information as you see this one here is is from 2017 fracking tied to cancer causing chemicals absolutely it's atrocious And it is a case where it's obvious it's in the drinking water. When you have mother's milk analyzed and you find that there's so many forever chemicals in mother's milk, so many carcinogens, and it's so toxic, obviously the entire system that we're in is toxic. Fracking involves releasing gas from shale kilometers below the surface. To do this, water containing potential hazardous substances is used under high pressure. So what they do is is they inject cement down through uh, the hole that they go ahead and, and dig into the ground, and the cement hardens, and that's supposed to keep the harmful chemicals out of right through the water supply, the aquifer. Yeah, you know, how porous is that cement? And also, do accidents happen? Yeah, well, they certainly do. There's been many cases that have been documented. So, yeah, if drinking water and the environment are contaminated with carcinogens in this matter, you know, there have been lawsuits. There absolutely have been lawsuits. There's been lawsuits with Monsanto. You know, and we know, again, that the the nightmares that Monsanto has brought upon this world. 
As you see this, up to 600 Olympic-sized swimming pools of fresh water trucked in from lakes, rivers, and streams to the fracking well. More than 7 billion liters of water were used in fracking BC back in 2012. They have tailings, ponds that contain toxic recovered well water. You know, they, as you can see how this goes, water on down through the sand, chemicals, and it basically sifts out the natural gas from it and often you're going straight through the aquifer and you know again there have been many cases and the other thing too seismic events absolutely oklahoma was not a uh, earthquake you know prone spot until it fracking started Oh, injection of fluid into subsurface geological structures such as faults and fractures reduces the effective normal stress acting across these structures. If sufficient shear stress is present, the structure may slip and shear and generate seismic events over a range of magnitudes. Natural gas drilling may have caused earthquakes in North Texas. Reports of minor tremors no greater than 2.8 on the Richter scale were reported on June 2nd, 2009 in Cleburne, Texas. The first in 140 years. Yeah, it's the fracking. Uh, that is just so obvious. 585 earthquakes in 2014. Uh, before that, between 78 and 2008, the sta state averaged 1.6 quakes of that magnitude a year. You know, 3.0 or greater. They had 585. Before that, 1.6. Uh, I mean, statistically, that should blow your mind away. You would think so. You would think so. You know, having all this information out there and it's right in front of people and then you're still going to have those that just flat out either don't care or they just deny it and they walk forward. And I think that's that's where we're um, kind of up against the energy of a wall <laughs> because people see it, they know it, they smell it, they walk it, they inhale it, but they don't care, you know? So that's, that's where the waking, waking process becomes very important and what you put in your body really does affect that pineal gland for you to be able to absorb the information and actually act on something and do something when you see that something's just not right. that you could light on fire you want to drink that well that was found in houses uh, near hydraulic fracking sites in Portage County Ohio oh 2014 a study of households using under, under uh, sorry I'm so wound up because it just is like you get you get some people that will say in and, and uh, this this was spurred on by somebody saying you know you should do a little research and not talk about fracking if you don't understand it well, obviously, you've listened to your, you know, the corporate slogan and believed it. You know, again, it, they don't care. They're all about profits. They really don't care until, you know, somebody in their family dies. Then maybe they do care. But yeah, 2014 study of households using groundwater near active natural gas drilling in Washington County, Pennsylvania, found that the upper respiratory illnesses and skin diseases were much more prevalent closer to hydraulic fracturing activity. Respiratory problems were found in 18% of the population 1.2 miles or more from drilling, compared to 39% of those within 0.6 miles of a new natural gas well. Uh, you know, skin problems as well, methane leakage, it, you know, it's there's been so many cases, so many studies, rare cancer found in Washington, Westmoreland counties, different type of sarcoma, it's again it, it it's due to the fracking it, it's toxic it's poisonous it's and it's also truly truly my own personal opinion is you, you know we, we've said before we don't really need to use any petroleum products you know again it'll be out there in the not too distant future that we've had free energy the whole time this is part of the purpose it's it's lowering life expectancy. That's just my crazy, humble opinion. Yeah, it also creates a lot of people that are going to be spending tons of time and money uh, at doctor's offices and in the system. And, and that is huge business as well. So as you can see, you know, the, the fracking fluid goes on down. They, they create 
um, a cement structure to contain all this. Cement's pretty porous and it goes right through the aquifer as you see there and goes way on down to where the gas bearing formation is and pull it back up again. It's, it's uh, so obvious it, it should not even, you know, there shouldn't be any argument about it. What are your guys' thoughts? And then we see here desalination plants set up by SA Gov in response to water shortage had to go out of use when they found that the seawater that they were using was 40 times more polluted than anybody even expected. This is how toxic this world is. The system has made this world this toxic. And, you know, now they want to basically uh, make it so that we can't eat. Uh, because they're going to stop all the farming, all you know, this is what they're doing, and then they're going to give us the lab-grown meats and and veggies and imitation this, imitation that, with no life force to it. And really, you know, again, when you look at the minerals and the vitamins that you get naturally, and you look at the artificial ones, it's a huge difference. The artificial ones don't help you like things found in nature. Right, no, they can make you pedal backwards. So even if you are trying to take the natural route, if you're not mindful about <clears throat> what you take and where it's sourced from, <clears throat> that that can can cause more problems. So they definitely don't make it easy if you do want to go a natural route. So this kitty is, is looking like that guy that said, oh, you mean Monsanto was lying to me when they said, go ahead, spread Roundup everywhere. Everybody's going to be fine. Just spray it everywhere. Yeah, you've been you've been lied to. Yeah, I know it's shocking. Look at the look on his face. It's shocking, yes. But yeah, humanity has been lied to. It's pretty dang obvious. We we would have to be totally deaf, dumb, and blind to not see the bigger picture. And I know you guys all get this. Time to make a change. Time to make a change. Share these videos far and wide while we still can. Stay prepared. Much love. God bless and namaste. Namaste.